morning it is it is morning it's the 8th of july it's friday we're sitting outside the doctor's I've just taking my mother in to have blood taken she was a bit stingy with it this morning weren't you hmm mother what's up you were a bit stingy with your blood this morning hmm mm. i'm actually taking her out for a few hours we're going charity shopping. One of your favourite things, isn't it? What's that? Come on, wake up. Charity shopping. Oh. Was. Was. Don't be a misery. And we're going to pick our friend up, Linda. And we're going to hit the town like rockers, aren't we? Like pensioners day out, me hobbling, pushing you in a wheelchair, and Linda trailing behind. <laughs> We're going to go to charity shopping, so if I do get any bargains, I'll let you know. And then we're going to go for lunch. So can you look a bit upbeat about it? Are you excited? Oh, yeah, over the moon. <laughs> Better than sitting in the house, isn't it? Being a misery, yeah. rocking in your chair. You should get in out and about. Aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, and that'll be too. Yeah, a bit time time time. Time. Right, you're going to have a nice day. Of course you are, you with your daughter. Your loving, caring daughter. You remembered when it's my birthday yet? Mother? Next week, is it? Well, bloody hell, she's remembering now. Last week you didn't know. This week you nearly got it right, yes. Is it next week? I think it is next week or the week after. I don't even know myself these days. Right, we're off. Even though she looks like she's bloody bored, we'll cheer up now. So we've arrived at Bernardo's with my mother's friends. was actually very good because right in the back of the store in the brick back I found a cow yes a cow an ornamental cow and a quick flick onto eBay it was two pound this cow and they're ranging from ten pounds to like about 40 quid maybe some or more I know a quick look so I picked that up thinking oh, I'll stick that on eBay it looked in very good condition and it was just two quid so I got that picked up a bag and a pie dish and a glass but I'll show you when I get home don't know if we're going to go to any more charity shops or not we'll see what it's about but yeah one down got so we are now at the range didn't do any more charity shops but we're at the range and there's my mother so we're going in the range at the 
cafe for refreshments. I have got a tomato mozzarella panini with a Bakewell tart. Mother's got a coffee and a toasted tea cake and a friend has a delicious cream tea. So I will pop calories on screen for mine. I kid <laughs> you not, it's taken me ages to get this video, not this video, yesterday's uploaded to YouTube. It's totally different to my other phone driven me mental it was so easy on the other one this one you gotta go around the houses to get it done but i did it i think oh you might if you watched it yesterday you'd have seen it anyway it's boiling hot i'm off into the kitchen to make a lasagna i'm not messing around making my own white sauce and that tonight because it's too hot to be bothered i already boiled some potatoes to make a potato salad, forgot about them, boiled them dry. There was a nice smell in the hair. It was actually a nice smell. I said to him, what's that smell? Tried to do the, the video and I was like, someone's cooking something. And then I was like, oh my God, my potatoes. So I managed to salvage the pan, it wasn't that bad, but a few of them got burnt, but I, most of them were fine. So yes, I'm gonna go and make lasagna and we're having lasagna. A little bit of potato salad and a bit of salad on the side. So I shall catch you for dinner. Right, I've got five minutes while my lasagna is cooking. So I'll just show you what I picked up at the charity shop. So I saw this bag. And straight away, I thought either Dexter or Jackson would love that. It's just a rucksack. And to be honest, it looks like it's had hardly anywhere. It says on it... Bleeding heart. I don't think it's any particular good make or anything, but I didn't buy it to sell. I bought it for the kids. It's got a big pocket in the front, and then it's got a massive bit in that I thought they could either use it for going on holiday or going to school. But I've just done it up rather than undone it. And already Dexter's put stuff in it. What earth's that? That was my crossbow. Dexter. He's put stuff in it ready for school by the looks of it. What do you like? I haven't even taken the price tag off it and you got it ready for school. But yeah, so I thought that was good and it was two pounds. So you can't buy a rucksack in the shops for two quid, can you? So I had that. I also picked up this thinking that Warren would like that for his beer, but he's a bit like, hmm, Dexter can have that. Because Dexter's got his eye on it, so obviously Dexter won't be drinking beer out of it, but we just use it as a cup. But it's really sort of sturdy and thick glass, so, and it was a 50 pence, so got that. I also picked up this pie dish. Now I haven't got pie dish. I've got flan dishes and stuff like that to make a quiche, but I haven't actually got a flan dish. A pie dish, sorry. I've got flan dish, not pie dish. It's actually got a recipe on it for an apple pie, family apple pie. It says, I'm going to stick it on it and press. It says, peel, core and slice two pounds, 900 grams of apples and put in this buttered pie plate. Add half a cup of sugar, half a cup of sultanas, and spice with cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Cover for cover with half a pound, 250 grams of pastry, and bake in a hot oven for 40 minutes. Actually sounds quite nice, might do that one day. But I'm thinking of making a lemon meringue pie pretty soon, so I thought that would come in handy. And it was two pounds, and it's quite a good one, to be honest, and it's good quality. It is handmade English stoneware. So that was my, char my charity shop finds. So they were bargains. And then in the range, I didn't buy a lot, but Dexter and Jackson are going to the beach next week, isn't it? Yeah, next week. And they asked for a bucket and spade. Obviously, I got a bucket and spade. I got a blue one for making sandcastles, obviously. But they've asked to go to the beach tomorrow to test them out, so... Looks like we might be going to the beach and it's absolutely scorching weather so it'd be ideal to go to the beach. I've got a red and a blue. And they're only one to nine, so I got them. And then I got 
a red and a blue. A red and a blue spade to go with them because Dexter requested a spade with a wooden handle. Yes, because they don't bend so easy. They don't bend as easy apparently. So I got them. I think they were 1.99 each. Had them. And then the other few little bits I picked up were iPhone charger for my car. A lead, rather, not a charger. I picked up a matching ladle for my utensils I've got in the kitchen. I did actually want like a big serving spoon, but they didn't have any, and all the other ones I had were metal, and I didn't want that, so I just picked up that for now. I'll just use that. It'll do for now. I also picked up these, which I thought were very good, and the fact that they're portion controlled. They were one pound, and they're eight packs of three biscuits. So inside there, there's all different variety of biscuits, and there's only three biscuits per pack. So as long as you stick to the pack, you'll be all right. But there's so many calories on these, as in too many to list, and it's all per 100 grams. So I'll let you work out the calories yourself from them. But as I eat them, if I eat them before the kids eat them, then I will um, stick calories on, on screen and stuff when I have them. I'll tell you what they are. But they would be ideal for pet lunch boxes. So I've got them. I also picked up some of these for shaving my face. I don't do it very often, but sometimes I get a bit of bum fluff around here, you know. And I just use one of these, they're really good. And you don't get a beard or a five o'clock shadow, whatever you call it. I haven't got like major hair growth, just, you know, now and again. And then reusable food storage pack, pack of six. I thought they're good for keeping like bits in the fridge. So if you cut an onion or something like that, you can put it in and then you haven't got to throw your bag away. You can use it again. And I got two packs, it's a pack. two packs of those, one for me and one to go with my giveaway stuff. And then this, is what I wanted when I went to the range. It is Mason Cash Cake Tester. You know, and I could be a cake tester, couldn't I? But I got one on a stick. It's basically a skewer with a podgy end on it. So when you're making a cake, if you want to see if it's wet in the middle, instead of sticking in just a random skewer or a fork or something or a knife, it's just a little cake tester. It says on there, oh, hello. It's a, yeah, it says cake tester on there. But yeah, got that. It was only one pound, one pound seventy-nine. And then I got it's like, like a dip in this bag, I can't remember what I got. Oh, I got a face powder because my face powder is nearly out. And it was only two pounds. Says flawless, flawless for two pound, eh? It's matte fix. It's that W7 range, so that'll do for my makeup stash when I put it on when I'm not a sweaty betty like today. And then the last thing, I got that for Tom and Jerry. It is Harvest Veggie Nibbles. Gonna go and give that to guinea pig sticks. Although they've just had a whole lettuce and what else do they have? Oh, and a whole bag of parsley. So they might not want that. Mm. Yes, yeah, so that's all I picked up when I was out with my mother and a friend. And the food we had in the range was really nice, to be fair. I did say on the cafe that it was Costa Coffee, but then on the receipt it said Dee Dee's Family Kitchen. So, yeah, but it was really nice. Oh, I didn't show you the other thing from the charity shop. Getting away with myself, because it's, it's wrapped in paper. So we've gone from the range back to the charity shop now. Right, I went up to pay, and I saw this old cow on the shelf. Not literally an old cow in the shop, but this cow with its old tag on it. 
This is on it, Cow Parade. Utterly Groovy Lady Belle Bennett. So I just had a really quick scan on eBay and I thought I'll just check if there's anything, you know, these cows. They're going for good money, you know. They're ranging from like 9 99 to the ones I saw were like 30 odd, 40 odd, maybe more. That's my son upstairs playing his computer. Making that noise. Yeah, they, they look like they're worth a bit. So all its hooves and everything are intact. It's in really good condition. It's got the tiniest, tiniest bit of paint missing on the end of the green horn. But you can't really see, you can't really tell. It's the tiniest little piece. But when you are looking at it like that, you can't see anything. It's just right on the tip. It's just a white dot. But apart from that, it's in really good nick. Now, Basically, collectible cows. Who thought a cow would be collectible? But yeah, and what's down the bottom? Cow Parade Holdings Corporation, China. Yeah, but it's really pretty. I wouldn't really have it in my house for the fact that I don't have like display cabinets or anything, and I wouldn't really have anywhere to put it, and knowing Dexter, we'd grab hold of it and chip the horn off. So I'm just gonna pack this away and stick it with my other stuff I've got to put on eBay whenever I get around to doing it. Probably Christmas. But yeah, so I thought that was really good. But yeah, so that's everything I picked up today. I'm going to go and check on my lasagna now. And I'll catch you in the next clip for dinner. So this is my dinner tonight. It comes with a total of 588 calories. So it's one piece of lasagna, a little bit of salad some potatoes and then I've got some salad cream on top so I will put a breakdown on screen oh need to drop the phone but that is my dinner so I'm boiling and I'm having one of these it's rather small it's actually a lid oh it is a Lidl's mini ice cream 100 and 22 calories. So guys, I am finishing off my night with these goodies. I've got a pretzel from Liddles, a curly whirly, and some cherry drops. And I will stick the calories on screen for them all. And they're on my marble piggy chopping board. But yeah, that's everything. So I've enjoyed everything I've eaten. I've had a good day. I think I've got 170 maybe calories left I'm not gonna eat. So that is me done for the day. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow on the next one.